Wow, wow, wow. This is a very nice This place. is a nice this is very nice. Yes, yes. Hi. This is Diana, one of our new NPEC fellows. Yes? yes. Congratulations. You Thank made you. it to the program. <laughs> Yahoo! 8 months of hard work. <laughs> Oh, you are happy about that. Okay, that's good. I will tell your mentor to increase the workload a little bit. <laughs> and the bridge, this is a very interesting story, right? Well, from the training program, you cross the bridge into the incubator. Yes, so you have to make it actually, right? You have to, to make it into to, the incubator. You have to make it to the incubator. Yeah. So this is the, this is the deeper meaning of the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, I always try to, I always try to uh, do interviews in different places and, and let the people see some, yeah, interesting places of Accra and Lagos. Yeah. Let's talk about Bezo money. We're here today to talk about Bezo Money. Bezo Money is a fintech. Yes. And and a very very fresh fintech in the market, right? Yes. Like how old are you officially? Um Today is the What date is today? What day is today? Uh 13. Today the 13. <laughs> okay, wow. Officially Bezo Money is 13 days old. 13 days old. So you got your license on, on first of November. November 1st. Yeah. This is one of the youngest startups ever <laughs> that I interviewed. The next next flight is coming. We got to take a break now. Oh, this one is very fast. Yeah, this one is fast. <laughs> the interesting part of Bezo Money is your customers. Yes. The client base. Yes. Who are your customers? What is the yeah? What is the <laughs> what is that part of the business model? Yeah, so we're targeting people who save informally, who put money under their mattresses in susu boxes or mm -hmm. piggy banks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, people who save in their shoes, basically anywhere but the bank. Okay. We want to help those people to put their money on our digital savings platform, where they can get interest and access to loans. Okay. Yes. So during our market research, we were targeting members of village savings and loans associations. Yeah. Which are very common in rural parts of developing countries. Yes. Because that's how they're able to save money to help themselves um, with their businesses and yeah. with their families. Yeah. It's mainly done by women. Yeah. And they keep the money in like a physical box mm -hmm. with three padlocks. Mm -hmm. So those forms of savings are very common. It's informal. But it's very helpful to the participants. So we want to provide a way for them to digitize their cash transactions yeah. Yeah. and get access to loans from former financial institutions. Wow. Certain kind of um, business women. Yes. Right? Yes. It's not only hawkers. Not only street not, hawkers. Not only street market hawkers. Market women. Market women. Farmers count. Yes. Because when they farm, they bring their produce to the market to yes. sell. Yes. I will show you guys now what we actually mean by hawkers. Okay. <laughs> the women on the street selling stuff, you know, like this is how it works here. Yeah. And these, this is very informal and they have absolutely no access to bank accounts to what else like loans yes they cannot build up credibility to even get a loan they to cannot show that they are credit worthy yes, yes. absolutely absolutely the, the thing is do these women actually have any access to digital platforms or do they use smartphones what is the situation that's a good question so these women would usually have a mobile money account which mobile is basically money, yeah. their phone number and any telco in Ghana provides mobile money. Yeah. So that's one form of them to access digital yeah. um, solutions when it comes to their financial services. So they can keep money on their mobile money accounts, transfer money, buy airtime, and it works on any kind of phone. It doesn't have to be a smartphone. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. You make it actually very, very easy for them to, to, to use, use our it, service. Yeah. So um, all our Bezo Money customers need a mobile money account to be able to use our savings platform. Yeah. Because we deduct your savings from your mobile money wallet and save it for you. With this information, the bank will get an idea of, you know, the amount of money that the women save. Yes, yes. And yes. related to that, they can get a loan. 
Absolutely. To, to improve their business, yes. to diversify, yes. to offer new products. Yes. Do you have actually any relevant market feedback, any data like, like what, what do the customers say about that? A lot of feedback coming from our customers. They want bigger loans. Existing solutions on the market that give loans uh, to people in Ghana without the need for collateral or a guarantor, yeah. they just start with a minimum amount, say $50 loan. Okay. New customers are telling us they want like $200 loan. Yeah. We're trying to see how we can meet that need. Okay. But first, they have to save. We yeah. encourage them to save yeah. daily yeah. because it's based on your savings that you can get access to bigger mm -hmm. loans from mm -hmm. financial institutions because mm -hmm. they really want to give you credits, but yeah. you have to show that you can pay back. Yeah, that is the thing. We talked in our speed mentoring session about other criteria that I believe this is what I told her yeah. <laughs> uh, that I believe might be interesting also for the banks to see you know I see a big problem with um, also finding the women like where are they located you know they if they get if they get a loan and you know they are always in this and that street selling this and that product mm -hmm. And suddenly, when they get the loan, they can, they could be gone. You know, yeah, like they true. can take it and, and go. Yeah. And you will actually never find them in Greater Accra. I mean, it's such a big place. So, uh, uh, are there other things that you offer for the banks, which are the other part of the of your clients, right? To yeah, to to use Bezo money as a as a intermediate and service. It's something that we're thinking of. We don't have any concrete plan at the moment. Okay. But what we are relying on is the existing savings behavior of our customers. Yeah. They tend to save in groups. Yes. Because they are able to keep themselves accountable when they take okay. loans and when they save together. Yeah. So with that group in quotes pressure it's it allows us to identify groups yeah. that are credit worthy so that their members can get loans yeah yeah because they know themselves that is very smart yeah i like the idea yeah <laughs> you use something that is very old in every culture we have that's we how have, they do yeah, it yeah. we have this 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 group mechanisms and mm -hmm. community and mm -hmm. you know like you don't want to you don't want to upset other people mm -hmm. that are very close to you so mm -hmm. if you are in one community and they are a part of you know if they help you saving building up credibility yeah. you don't want to make the, these people upset so Absolutely. you will you definitely work hard you know <laughs> to Meet your obligations? Yeah, to meet your obligations. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. I like that approach. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about the fintech ecosystem in Accra. You are one of the players at the moment in Accra. Yes. We don't have so many fintechs like in Lagos, for example. As far as I know, um, the fintech ecosystem in Ghana is a little bit smaller than Lagos, of course. Uh, we have some players, but um, the opportunities are huge absolutely i think the fintechs really help the financial system yeah um for example the banks to yeah. get access to more customers mm -hmm. especially customers in the informal sector mm -hmm. who are less likely to use banking services yeah so that's why we're so important and it's not just uh, platforms like Bizo Money that exists, mm. which help to drive savings from the informal sector into the formal sector. There are also fintechs that focus on payments and oh, yeah. other solutions. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. When it comes to fintech and saving money and mm. using, mobile you know, money. not only mobile money, but the new digital world that is available to many, many people and growing mm -hmm. at the moment, um, how do you how do you assess the situation actually at the moment in Ghana? What do you think is the do you do you think the people are ad adapting this and and using it? I think people are. You know when the new a new fintech product comes up, especially the millennials, they use they jump on it because yeah. they're really excited to try new things. Very good point. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But my target customers are a, a bit slow on the uptake. You need yeah. to explain yeah. um, the security of your service to them before they buy into it. Yeah. Because they are still used to the old way of doing things. Absolutely. So it's a bit difficult for them to adapt yeah. and adopt it. Yeah. But once they do, they tell their friends and yeah. they just spread. Okay, guys, uh, that was it here from the bridge in between the training center and incubator of MEST. Um, follow us on Instagram, of course, and I will, as always, put down in the description the link to Bezo Money. Subscribe to Bezo Money, use their service, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.
Bye bye. Thanks, Maku. You're welcome. Bye. bye. bye.